So we have a few news items to touch on around the Ontario Hockey League as uh, we're now approaching the second week of the 2024-25 regular season. And over the weekend, there was a few incidents which have now resulted in suspensions. And one of those players is Barry Colts forward Riley Patterson. He was issued a slew foot major penalty early in the game Saturday against the North Bay Battalion. And because of that, he has been suspended two games, which means uh, Patterson is going to miss Thursday's game against Brampton and Saturday's game against the Sudbury Wolves. So he'll be eligible to return when the Barry Colts are on the road Sunday against the Oshawa Generals. So the Barry Colts trying to get a full lineup together. It's going to be a few more days. Of course, Cole Bodwin set to come back from the Utah Hockey Club. It sounds like Bo Akey about to return as well. So Patterson out due to suspension and Bo Gelsma out of the lineup still due to that shoulder injury. So we'll see a full lineup at some point for the Barry Colts. But right now, uh, Riley Patterson, the uh, latest player to be out of the lineup for the Barry Colts. And it wasn't just Patterson who had uh, a suspension issued by the Ontario Hockey League as there were a handful. Uh, there was four suspensions out of the game between the Kitchener Rangers and the Windsor Spitfires. That was a 12-2 final for Windsor. Two suspensions being handed out to Ranger players, uh, Max Dracolo and Andrew Vermeulen. They've been issued two game suspensions. That's as a result of uh, several fights that broke out in that hockey game. And then also being suspended two games from the Windsor Spitfires, Jean Christophe Lemieux and Tanner Weingard, all of them getting two game suspensions as a result of those tussles. And then we also have Blake Smith. He's been suspended two games with the Flint Firebirds and that's for throwing equipment. So, a lot of suspensions right now posted on the Ontario Hockey League website. Uh, you can go there if you want to see the full list, but I figured I wanted to highlight uh, some of the suspensions uh, that have been issued going into this weekend. Now, the other thing that's been taking place are that uh, OHLers being returned from NHL camps. We found out that Sam Dickinson will be back in the London Knights lineup after being returned from the San Jose Sharks. Uh, we're also finding out that Quinton Musty is going to be rejoining the Sudbury Wolves after being released by the San Jose Sharks. And Colby Barlow has been uh, sent back to junior from the Winnipeg Jets. And with him being sent back to junior, according to Bob Murray, he's a reporter out of Windsor, uh, there is a trade that is uh, set to be announced uh, sooner rather than later. And it sounds as though Colby Barlow will be going to the Oshawa Generals. Uh, for the last few weeks, it's been speculated that Barlow would eventually end up playing for an Eastern Conference team. It sounded like uh, the Barry Colts were in the mix, also the Brampton Steelheads. But ultimately, it sounds like we should get an announcement soon of Colby Barlow ending up with the Oshawa Generals. And according to the reports, uh, two players will go back to Owen Sound. We don't know who those players are as of yet, along with uh, several draft picks. Sounds like it could be up to six draft picks going to the Owen Sound attack. And Colby Barlow, uh, a great talent. Uh, he's an Aurelia native, and uh, he'll be playing a little bit closer to home, being in the Eastern Conference. And this is going to help Oshawa, already considered one of the top teams in the Ontario Hockey League this season. And uh, right now, Oshawa waiting for the services of Beckett Seneca and Callum Ritchie. Uh, Ritchie, of course, still with the Colorado Avalanche, while Beckett Seneca recovering from a foot injury uh, that he suffered with the Anaheim Ducks. So I think this is going to be a big boost for Colby Barlow or for the for the Oshawa Generals. I'll get it right one of these times. Uh, but uh, still, it's not official at the time of recording. When I post this video, we might find out for sure who how this trade's all working out. As uh, right now, it sounds like the general manager is still dotting the I's and getting approval and whatnot as uh, it sounds as though Colby Barlow is in fact on his way to join the Oshawa Generals. Now, a real cool story uh, coming out from Peterborough. They've announced that Jamie Langenbrunner will have his uh, number raised to the rafters. Now, I did the history videos during the offseason, and for the Peterborough Peets, they don't retire numbers, but they recognize players uh, who have uh, come through their organization and uh, Langenbrunner will become the 10th player to be recognized by the Peterborough Peets hockey organization. Uh, they're raising his banner October 24th at the Peterborough Memorial Center when they take on the Kingston Frontenacs. So a very uh, special honor for Jamie Langenbrunner, who, of course, is a two-time Stanley Cup winner, spent time with the Dallas Stars and the New Jersey Devils. Uh, his Stanley Cups, I do believe, both coming 
with, or actually one with the Dallas Stars and one with the New Jersey Devils. So a real cool honor for him. And when he played in the Ontario Hockey League, uh, he scored 75 goals and added 115 assists. So 190 points in 127 games of work. So Jamie Langenbrunner, a very special player and uh, being recognized. And it's really cool how teams do this, where they recognize some of those past players who had such an impact uh, in their community. And he'll join the likes of uh, Steve Iserman, uh, Chris Pronger, who just had his uh, banner raised last season, along with Colin Campbell, Dick Todd, Larry Murphy, Mickey Redmond, Roger Nielsen, Scotty Bowman, Bob Ganey, some pretty impressive names. And uh, Amy Langenbrunner will be the latest to have his banner raised at the PMC. So those are the news items for today. Uh, also, just to note, the CHL Top 10 rankings were released earlier today. And the Brampton Steelheads, recognized as the top team right now in the Canadian Hockey League. So I just wanted to throw it in there as well because uh, the CHL Top 10, I know there's a lot of people who uh, you know start to argue a little bit with how they come up with these rankings, but it is still great to see uh, the Brampton Steelheads being recognized as the number one team right now in the CHL Top 10. The London Knights, they're still in third place, and uh, the Oshawa Generals and Brantford Bulldogs both making the CHL Top 10. So that's how I see it from the booth. Stay tuned uh, later this week. I do have a couple of interviews going up on the channel. And uh, yeah, so if you want to be notified about that, uh, remember to hit subscribe. Uh, if you uh, are subscribed already, thank you very much for your support. Uh, don't forget to uh, like this video and uh, share uh, your opinions on any of these news items going forward. Thanks again for all your support. Talk to you again soon.